Hi, my name is Pamela, and I'm representing Hats Team to present to you um the project on the lot's disposition recommendation system. So I will first give you a brief introduction of the background of this project. So um we we comes from the semiconductor uh, manufacturing whereby the reliability and the integrity of the integrated circuits are especially critical to the automotive and aerospace industry, where any premature failure will actually lead to catastrophic consequences. So the test process is the last quality gate before the IC are shipped to the customer and thus is the most important process in the whole manufacturing chain to ensure that there are no defects being shipped out. When the lot or in other words known as the batch of IC does not, mean, does not meet the quality and customer requirement, the process control will actually flag and stop the lot from processing to the packing process and this will be known as lot on hold. The law on the whole will then be sent for further investigation to assess its risk and understand the cause of deviation, which may arise to product or process related problems. During this investigation, the domain expert will examine the violation that trigger the control limit and several te statistical tests and checkpoints are performed to assess the risk and analyze the root cause. After evaluation, the domain will decide to proceed the lot for shipping if the outcome is a low, low risk or retest or even for re-evaluation and thus this has to be actually assigned to other fewer domain for further investigation. So this entire process is known as the lots on hold LOH disposition process. This is a very standardized man manual and demanding task. In the normal production line, more than 15% of the lots are placed on hold after the testing process. And today, the lot disposition um, process requires more than 50% of the engineering resources. Therefore, it is actually necessary for us to actually design a machine reasoning system to perform this evaluation to help to facilitate and speed up the decision making process so that the resources can be free up to handle more highly complex and more value-adding value tasks. So the design of this lots on hold disposition um, system aims to assign the lots on hold responsibility to respective functional domain based on certain predefined rules. Firstly, the test measurement data is extracted and statistical tests are performed on the, um, on the different sub-goals to determine the cause of the low yield which trigger the lots on hold. This statistical test performed indicates the significance of the factors contributing to this violation. Then, the test outcome will actually decide the lot's disposition assignment based on the predefined production rules. Finally, the engineering domain that is assigned for the lots on hold will then carry out further investigation to mitigate the problem by assessing the risk and perform corrective action. Now, I will demonstrate to you um, how our system works using a use case scenario via the KIE tools. This is to demonstrate the lot on hold disposition recommendation systems. First of all, I will log in with a technician account. Okay, this is the form for the technicians to key in uh, two informations. One is the lot number, the other one is the measurement steps. For lot number, we will use the test case that described in the report. Once we create submit, we will actually send the lot information, which is the lot 26 and B2, to the external scripts to process the statistical test to find out which is the hardware which is most significantly related to the failure of the lot. So we look at the diagram here. So for this test case, it's actually started from here. And this is the, it will load the lot data to check, to validate the lot, whether this is the correct input of the lot ID and the measurement steps. Then it will proceed to process the data using the external script to find out uh, uh, the R script to check, to perform some statistical tests. So with the rule defines here, for this particular task, it's actually assigned to the equipment engine. Okay, now I will log in with the equipment engineer. So for this test results, 
it shows that it's uh, related to the socket and it's also Kelvin and temperature test related. So we could complete. In summary, the KIE tool has proven to be very effective in building structure and routine tasks and a decision making system. Further optimization on the statistical test can be done to improve the accuracy and efficiency of the logs on hold assignments. But overall, this project is a success as the logs on hold is conventionally known to be a very tedious task which involves complex data analysis. And with this new system, even without prior production knowledge, decision can be made. This has greatly improved engineering efficiency by reducing the logs on hold eva evaluation time to 5 seconds. Moreover, it also helps to eliminate and prevent incorrect decision making, such as assigning the logs to the wrong domain, resulting in conflict and quality issues. So that's all for our presentation. Thank you.